But I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! Ah! Good evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, back with another video, another update. This one's pretty different though, these papery things don't look like CDs or records, but anyway. Uh, in the background, we are listening to the otherworldly death metal of Encoffinized. This is their awesome, awesome full length. It's far too short. This is Chambers of Deprivation on Maggot Stomp Records. I have the LP as well, but the tape is easier to play when the turntable is underneath all of these books. So, I went to a market on the weekend, my local outdoor markets, they're still on, and uh, it's only a short walk up the street, I thought, why not? So I walked in, and there was a guy, he was selling all of these pulp science fiction novels from the uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, the golden age of trashy sci-fi novels, and um, they were a dollar a piece, and I ended up just throwing him 40 Australian dollars and coming alone, coming back with this entire pile of books. I was really, really happy with this. I just thought I'd go through them, um, mainly because the cover art on these things is just so amazing. Um, I know very little about the contents of the books, uh, the authors. It's not something I usually am reading that much. Um, I enjoy a sci-fi novel, but um, to the extent of picking up a bulk load like this, this is new territory for me. Not only did I pick up these uh, these pile of books, but I did get two records at the fair as well, which I'll get to at the end, and they are... I'm still surprised I managed to find them at a local market. Um, I'm not in a city, I am in some pretty leafy suburbs, so to find these in, in, in my market I'm pretty happy about. So anyway, we're going to go quickly through these books. First one here is Worlds to Come. I believe this is a bunch of short stories, which happens a lot with sci-fi books. Very cool. It's got Arthur C. Clarke. That's a name that I do know. Uh, Ray Bradbury is another name that I know. So there you go. Um, they're all pretty much much of a muchness textbooks. Uh, this one is Spectrum number one. Another collection of sci-fi uh, short stories. Uh, this one is called uh, The Second Pacific Book of Australian Science Fiction. So Australian authors, that one's going to be particularly interesting, I think. A bit of boobies there. Are they space boobies? They're alien space boobies, that's amazing. Uh, this is the way the world begins, old Corgi book. Visit Earth, the birthplace of man. Uh, Damnation Alley. Now, I'm not sure if this is what the movie is based on, probably not, but anyway, interesting uh, cover as well. I just get drawn in so much to the, uh, the artwork on these things. Uh, Space 1999, Earthfall, the epic story of Moonbase Alpha. Uh, Silverberg, Mutants, so Silverberg is the author I suppose. Uh, mutants, hated, feared, hunted or despised. These guys are having good fun down there. Uh, this one is Stepsons of Terror. Really, really cool. And these are of the uh, the right size for me to actually find time to read. Well, that's that's a bonus. Um, this one's called Earthwreck. Very nice. Uh, Beyond Tomorrow. I really like that artwork. That one's great. There was a lot more books there, but I could only physically carry one tub full. And I'm, I've pretty much got the pick of the litter, I think. Uh, the Silent Invaders, I love this one. That's pretty amazing. And, uh, yeah, nice little short little books. I can, I can whip through that pretty quick, so... That's what I want. That's the kind of stuff that I want. The Mind Trap. The Green Gene. This one sounds pretty interesting. Um, imagine a Britain in which the dominant white Anglo-Saxon race is under guerrilla attack from the Celts, who are green. So there you go. That's some pretty interesting stuff there. Uh, this one's called Spikos 4, or Spikos 4. I think it's the name of the spaceship. Very cool. The Killer Mice. I love that one. Really cool. 
Uh, this one's called Nebula Award Stories 10. So this will be another compilation, I think, of um, little short stories. Yes, it is. It's got uh, names I don't recognise, but um, there you go. It's from 1965, apparently. Golden Age of Sci-Fi. Until the Sun Dies. Very nice. Uh, Alien Embassy. That one looks bloody demonic. Space Satan. Awesome. Uh, this one is Dagger of the Mind. I love that close-up uh, monster face there. Very cool. So there's a couple of horror type ones in here, which I'll probably watch uh, read first. Um, 13 Great Stories of Science Fiction. Really, really cool. This is a related one. Uh, seven Trips Through Time and Space. This one is The Neural Atrocity. Central computer blows its mind, programs the world for apocalypse. Oof! Some poignant themes here. The Star Wasps. That one's amazing. And look how. Th Man, I could do that one in an afternoon. The Star Wasps. Death Ship. This one has the most modern looking cover of everything here. Uh, Spectrum number two, another anthology. That just reeks of 70s, doesn't it? So 70s. This one I've been told is actually really good. It's Shambhala. Really cool looking Medusa kind of cover there. Might uh, read that one first because it's the only one that I've had a recommendation on. Uh, Planet of the Dreamers. This one's the best of John W. Campbell. Like the big very cool uh, New Worlds of Fantasy the evil looking cat on that one uh, this one this this is probably my favourite cover it really just intrigues me this is the Star Droppers I think that's a really awesome cover definitely my favourite one I know it just uh, it just speaks to me I think that one's really, really something special you don't get this kind of art on books anymore. Strangers from the Sky. Three more. The Several Minds. This one's really good as well. Love that. Such a good picture. This one looks awesome. Anti-Grav. Big skull on the front there. And the last one is Meteor, which has become a movie. Uh, I think the movie was early 70s, and the movie was really good. So there you go, there's the, uh, the novel. Uh, not the novelization, the actual novel. This came first. There were two hardcover books in the lot that I uh, got from the market. So the first one here is Science Fiction Stories, which has a really cool cover. And there's another um, book of short stories. Quite a lot of uh, content in this one. Lots of names that you recognise. There's H.G. Wells, there's Isaac Asimov, and uh, yeah, this one's going to be a really good read, I think. There you go. The other one, 1980 Annual World's Best Science Fiction, which has spectacular hand-drawn art that remind me of a Choose Your Own Adventure book. Maybe it's the same artist. And as I was flicking through this one, I got to the table of contents and I saw that the first short story... The Way of Cross and Dragon by George R.R. R. Martin. Before I move on to the records, uh, there is one more book. I didn't get this in the markets. I got this a little while ago, and uh, those of you that watch my channel for the metal stuff will recognise this cover, because I couldn't say no to this. Yes, this is Blood Incantation's brand new album. I mean, sorry, this is uh, Brian Alder's Space, Time and Nathaniel, um, which obviously this artwork was... Uh, reused on uh, Blood Incantation's latest album and um, yeah I couldn't say no I've been reading through this one it's it's a book of short stories um, and they're very very interesting but I just simply couldn't say no to that artwork so at the same market and from the same seller when I was going through all those books I heard him speaking to someone else and all I heard was blah 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 Metallica blah 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 I'm like what and my ears went up 
um, I asked him, what are you talking about, Metallica? He says, oh, I had some records. I sold them to the record store, just three stalls down this morning before you came. Oh, really? How much did you sell them for? Oh, just $10 each, and I nearly died. So anyway, I went to that record store, and he hadn't put them on sale yet. I knew he was just going to sell them. They wouldn't be for him. They were sitting against a pole on the ground, and I saw them there. And I went up to the guy, and I said, I heard you bought some Metallica LPs from the guy up there. And he said, oh, yeah, I wasn't going to sell them, but you can have a look. I said, oh, okay, and I had a look. This is what I ended up negotiating with him. Metallica, Kill Em All, the Australian first press on Electro from 1987. And the damn thing is mint condition. I played this when I got home. I gave it a clean. It didn't need one. I gave it a clean. I played it. And it's not a single click, not a single pop. This was a well cared for record and yeah as I said first press Australian press not the first metal blade press but um, we didn't get the records until 1987 and um, it's the Electra edition which is actually quite I think this one might be quite challenging to get so nice um, in a cover the lyrics now this might be hard to show Let's see if I can but the Australian edition on the uh, side A has a misprint. So let's see if I can show this. So if you look at track four, let's see if you can see that or not, hopefully you can. Track four there, jump in the fire, it says jump in the air. Jump in the air. I, yeah, I don't know. Now, I've been told that this edition was an Australian misprint. It's not on Discogs. So the edition I've got here is on Discogs, but not with the misprint listed. So I don't know. Um, one of my friends, he was the one that pointed it out to me, so I hadn't realised straight away. He said, oh, is that the Electra edition with the misprint, Jump in the Air? I'm like, yeah, apparently it is. And it's not listed on Discogs, so I don't know. Maybe I need to go list it, but I was completely thrilled to find that. And I was just as thrilled that he had Master of Puppets. Uh, this is also the 1987 uh, Australian Press which is closer than the album came out in 86, so there you go. Completely and utterly minty condition. And there's the inner. Very cool. And just the black on Warner and Electra. So nothing too exciting there. But um, yeah, I was completely thrilled to, uh, to find two Metallica vintage records at a local fair that I walk past every day and yeah completely surprised so yeah that's my haul that's my books and that's my records I hope you enjoyed watching see you next time